This is the 10x Your Business Podcast with Itaipa, session number two. Let's make it happen. Welcome to the 10x Your Business Podcast, where it's all about 10x your business results. Get more clients, make more money, and have more free time. And now, your host, entrepreneur, best-selling author, trainer, and international speaker, Itai Paz. Hi, everyone. Great to have you here with me today. I'm very excited. Today, we're going to talk about the 10 extra business pillars. And I'm going to show you why your business will actually never get to fulfill its potential. So you know what, let's just dive in and I'll tell you all about it. You're a business owner, entrepreneur, business owner, and under you there are three main tasks as a business owner, company owner, which is marketing, sales, and what we call administration, operation, fulfillment part. And these are your three main tasks. Now, usually uh, business owners, most business owners are a single person. Maybe they have something in outsourcing, but mainly all these tasks are under his belt and other, uh, under your you know, um, business activities that you need to do, your responsibilities. So I want you to think about something very, very simple, okay? When you are now doing marketing, the marketing activities, doesn't matter what they are, it's doing marketing, who is doing sales and operation, administration, fulfillment? Who does it? No one, right? So now you're doing sales. Okay, this is, these are, you know, today, the next few hours, you're spending time doing sales, making sales. So who at that ex- exact moment, at, at these hours that you're spending on sales, doing marketing, operation, administration, fulfillment, who does it? Right, no one. And if you're doing operation, administration, and fulfillment, you know already the drill, right? You know, who does sales and marketing? No one is doing it. So I'm going to give you now something that you have never, ever learned or will learn uh by going to business school or, or any other education system. This is really powerful. Uh, I think this will be probably one of the most powerful lesson for you going forward in doing business. And so here it is. Most business owners, right, in general, split their time, like let's say 33.3%, one third of the time doing marketing, one third of the time doing sales, and one third of the time doing uh, operation, administration, and fulfillment, more or less. So what does it mean? What exactly does it mean? Do you know? Did you get it? I'll tell you exactly. Okay. So it says one simple thing. Your business capacity is one third, 33.3%. That's your business. You will never be able to to reach the best potential, not to say 10x your business, by working on a 33.3% capacity. Think about it. If if that was your business, and let's say you weren't there, okay, it's a business, and you had one employee uh, doing 33%, you know, hours every week, do you think your business will grow? Never. Never. So your business is working on a one-third capacity. That's it. So what exactly is the owner role? So if you want to grow and you want to be, you know, ultimately get to the 10x your business, how can you grow? What is your, you know, role as, a, as, a, as an owner? What, what, are, what do you need to do every day? So uh, you know, I want to give you an example. I, I, have you heard about, you know, the multi-billionaire, you know, billionaire Roman Abramovich? He, you know, Forbes is saying he has about, you know, his net worth is about $8 billion, billion with a B. And one of his, you know, things he owns is Chelsea. Chelsea, the football club, very known one from the UK. 
And I want you to think about it. When he's coming to game, okay? So he's coming to the game. This is the business. Think about it as a business. It comes to the, to the game. Do you think he goes down to the grass, to the court, and gives order to the players what to do? Do you think he runs, you know, on the grass, possibly maybe making goals, you know, just running, uh, stopping, you know, running through whatever it is, playing the game? Do you think? Absolutely no. What does he do? He sits and watch the game. This is what he does. He watch, he watches the game. He sits outside and watches the game. That's it. So, eventually, if you place the right systems or the right people or both, then your job as an owner is to make sure that you watch the game as it goes. You can do some stuff because, you know, you should do something, of course. And if you love to do something, obviously. But your job is to make sure that you've built the right systems and the right people in order to 10x your business. And you cannot do it as long as you're sitting in each one of these positions, putting your time, spending your time, putting, like I said, one third of a normal job at each desk. Your business will never, ever grow. You need to watch the game. And this is the best lesson I learned and I think you will learn in order to succeed in your business. And this is where you need to go eventually. This is like your um you know vision should be i'm going to be the owner i don't need to be there every day do everything by myself now the fact is there's a new challenge you know the marketplace changed and is changing right the world is changing changing and changing and in the past you know if you were doing a good job you would have gotten between good to great results and even if you did some ah, so-so job, you would still get good results. And since the market changed, today, in order to get great results, you need to be awesome. You need to be awesome, fucking awesome. Do stuff and push yourself forward. And you can do it when you're stuck in your business. You need to work on the business and not in the business. Now, I know some people say, hey, but I'm a small business. I'm just starting or I, I, I don't have the money yet that's okay but that's a process to go to you need to envision that to have it placed as a plan to go there because if you don't plan it and you don't put dates it will never happen and you'll still still be a small business never going to its you know full potential never getting to the great results that you want to be there now most business owners chasing clients all the time you know they're running after clients and another client and another client and if you build it right then with a 10x your business model they will come to you and that's much more powerful because when they come to you they want to buy your stuff your services your products your knowledge whatever it is and you don't need to convince them. Yeah, you need to be, you know, you need to do marketing, sales, of course. But it's not like when you're chasing someone, think about it like rabbits. Okay, you run after rabbits with a carrot, they're running away. But if you sit and just wiggle them, they will come to you. Really powerful. Now, I want to give you now uh, the pillars. Okay, the pillars for having a 10x your business results. And there, there are... N- eight eight pillars and just let's go through them very powerful just write yourself uh take a piece of paper if you have uh and if not just listen later and and just yourself write yourself them so pillar number one is having the right mindset so i think i i've talked already about the power of of having a powerful mind mindset of 10x your business on the first podcast, uh, if you haven't listened to that, you should go and listen to that. That was really powerful, really important. Uh, I don't want to go into that again, but this is like the first pillar, and that's why we already talked about it in length in the po- in the first podcast. Pillar number two is all about you knowing your business. You know, we, we meet with so many business owners that don't even know their business. You can ask them many questions 
they don't know them. And I'm not just talking about knowing their numbers, although you have to know your numbers. If you don't know your numbers, you don't know your business. This is like ABC of, of, of owning a business. But I'm talking about knowing your business in, in, in the aspect of outside, going outside. So first thing is you need to identify the best client and the right client for you, for your business. And some people say, yeah, but you know, uh, are there, you know, the right, is the right client other? And the answer is yes. You know, when you're looking in, in the global market, there's so many opportunities, so many people out there, then there's always a way to find the best client. And if you identify them and define them, then at least you're having, you know, you're a few steps closer into getting them. Uh, and then, you know, you can find, you know, the right client minus something, but at least you're getting closer to the right client because when you work with the right client, you, you'll you be able to serve them the best, you're going to get the best results for them, and that will impact your business because they will be going out there and talk about you and about your business. So you need to identify the right and the best client for you and for your business. And under knowing your business, you also have to know your industry. And yeah, it's important to know what's going on in the industry. Who, you know, what what products are being sold, size of industry, what's going on, events, uh, competition. Learn. Learn for them. You know, this is really powerful. Just go and see what's going on in your industry. Uh, I would recommend go to events, uh, read the, the, you know, leading blogs or leading uh, industry news, uh, you know, websites, whatever it takes in order to know your business industry. I'm not saying you need to follow everything they do. I just say you should know. And the third thing is identify your products and services. Once you know the best clients, you know, that you want for your business or the right client and you know the industry, you're able to identify the right products and services you're being able to do, you know, to, to deliver. Now, if you have already a business, which is awesome, then it's still time to do the process if you haven't done it before, because it will help you to tweak, to change, to amend, to do whatever needed in order to take your business to the next level. You have to do that. Very, very powerful. Knowing your business pillar number two. Pillar number three, okay? Give great value. So it's not just about the product or the service that you provide to your clients. It is the experience and the sense of belonging belonging of, of for them working with you. Some of them are buying into the lifestyle of being with you. You know, so you, you need to think differently about the way you deliver the product or service because you deliver value to the client. I always say, you know, promise a lot. You know, when you sell something, promise a lot. But deliver much more than that. Again, promise a lot and deliver much more than that. And, you know, the law of income says, very simple, your income will always be in direct correlation with the value you're giving to your clients. So, that means if you give more value and more value and even more than you actually, you know, promised, you deliver more, you will get back big time, big time. And you can see that actually, you know, one of the cool things, Apple is a great company, you know, you buy a device and, and they give you much more than that. They give you all the devices, all the platforms, the connection, and they give you the software and applications yeah, they're making a ton of money of that. But we're happy about them giving us more than actually we can ever imagine. It keeps on growing. So this is not a big scale, but any business can do that. Any business can do much more and see if you can fulfill all of their needs. If you can, you know, be some kind of a broader, um, what I call one-stop shop. I don't say, hey, so do everything, but if you can give them more, broaden whatever you can give them. They will be happy. It's all about the value. Pillar number three, three, give great value. P 
pillar number four is talking about multiple stream of income. So, you know, most people have, you know, one product, few products, maybe a service or two services, like very limited um, things to offer. But if you think broader, you can make much more by building multiple streams of income, especially, you know, it gives you two things. First of all, you can grow a business really fast in terms of income, but it also reduces your risks in your business. Because, you know, if you're dependent on just a few products, what happens if there's a problem? Then, you know, shit. And shit happens, you know. Sometimes shit hits the fans and there's a problem. So you rather have more income streams from different sources or different products or different services. So you can take, and I'm just going to give you like a a quick overview on on, on ideas and stuff that you can actually use and do, which will give you uh, more opportunities. Just open your minds. We, We might do in the future like a dedicated uh, uh, podcast on just uh, multiple stream of income. But just what, as a pillar, I want to give you just ideas. So you can do digital digital products. You can do digital, digital oh, reports and guides. Okay, audio programs, video programs, webinars, live casts. You can do online events, like a real seminars and conferences online. We do that and... We make money of that as well, uh, not just giving value, but we make money of that. You can, you know, have tools, templates. You can have a monthly membership, like a membership site. Uh, you can have online courses. You can have, of course, offline courses. Okay, so online courses and seminars, but you can also have them offline. Uh, you can do paid speaking. Paid speaking make a lot of money and speaking and all in, in general. You know, you can make money off speaking anyway, not just paid. Uh, but speaking is a big thing. Coaching, you can do coaching, either group or, or one-on-one or, or, or for both. You can do mentoring program. You can offer mastermind program. And and one of you know the things I really like is you can also sell other people's products as an affiliate on top of your business and make more money just by leveraging other people's product. Now, just... Saying that, I want to say you need to, of course, have relevant products and, of course, quality products when you recommend on them. So I want to just give you the idea how you can have, you know, make an extra $318,014 just from five stream of income, you know, from the list I gave you right now. So, so I'll just give you uh, the idea. So let's say you decide to do an ebook or a, dig- a dig- digital guide. So you sell it for $67 and you sell just two per day. Okay, two per day for $67. It's an extra $48,910 a year for your business. Really cool, right? You can have a paid webinar. And yes, there are paid webinars, quality webinars that you can make money off, not just by selling there, but having paid one. And you can charge as little as $27 per per attendee, do once a month, one like that, and get 50 people on board. And you will make extra $16,300. And I'm not talking about residual, more, more money you can make out of them actually coming and buying more on the webinar, selling there. You can have um, a membership. You remember I said a monthly membership site. And if you just add two members a week at $97 a month, after one year, you'll be in an income rate of hundred thousand dollars, one hundred four, like uh, one hundred thousand and one hundred four dollars a year at this rate. And if you take online courses, okay, online courses, you take two clients a week. That's it. Two clients a week at a thousand dollars, you make an extra hundred and six thousand dollars. And think about, uh, we're talking about affiliates selling other people products as an affiliate. And you, if you send three clients a week, that's it. And you get an average commission of $300 on a yearly basis. That's $46,800. And just with these five income streams that you know, I just showed you and talked about, you're going to make an extra of $318,014. How amazing that is. Very, very powerful. 
Pillar number five. Do whatever it fucking takes to succeed and take huge actions every day. You have to do that. If you're not going to do that, very, very difficult. You won't succeed, I'm telling you. you you'll fail. In, 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 you can't get there. Pillar number six. Automated you know, systems. Automate whatever you can. And that's the great thing about you know, the global and the internet. It allows us to have two things. One is build automated systems, like really standalone automated systems. There are technologies, very simple to use. You don't need to be a programmer to do that. Very uh, user-friendly. Like I said, all you need to, to know is, is you know, move the mouse and, and type on a keyboard, and, and then you can automate it, some of the processes, like even you know, emailing customers, uh, replying to customers. Some of that could be automated. And on the other side, you can also find outsourcing uh, without having employees right under your hand. But outsourcing, again, build automated system to where they do stuff. It's still automated. Someone is doing something, but for you, it's automated. It's a it's a closed box. Someone is doing that for you. And that connects to pillar number seven, which is use the power of the internet. Internet is the best way for you to 10x your business results. Because, like I said, you can automate it, it, you can get to clients worldwide. There's no barriers no more, no in the city level, not in the state, country, continent. It doesn't really matter. We have clients worldwide and you can reach any client anywhere worldwide. There's no limitation if you use the power of the internet and it's really, really cheap. Doing any other way of marketing sales to get to clients. Pillar number eight, which is shortcuts. Shortcuts. This is, uh, you know, um, really powerful. I love shortcuts. And Bill Gates said, for the most complicated and um, uh, compli- complicated tasks I have uh, in the company back then when he was in Microsoft, I choose the most laziest people in the in the company to do that because they will find the easiest and quickest way to find the solution to get to the results we want and so i I don't think you need you know the 10x uh your business model doesn't say hey be lazy but there are so many shortcuts out there and you should utilize them as long as they legit use them because they they can jump you from doubling your business, triple your business, quadrupling your business, and 10x your business faster than you can ever think. Just by pushing forward really, really fast, taking these shortcuts. So use them. They are there. And we're going to talk about them in, in our podcasts and, and in, in our videos, in our blogs. So you keep on looking for them. We're giving you the shortcuts. As long as you keep on tracking, you learn more and more shortcuts so this is pillar number eight use shortcuts and these are basically the eight pillars of building your 10x your business results and if you take these eight pillars and you use them every day in your business and in your life and keep on doing them every time you will 10x your results faster than you'll you ever thought you is possible to do and with that this is the podcast today, the eight pillars of 10x your business. I'll see you in the next upcoming podcast. We have great stuff coming up, so make sure you tune up. Thank you for tuning in to the 10x your business podcast with Itai Paz at www.itaipaz.net slash podcast. We will be back with another great podcast next week. If you're digging what you're hearing, Your next step is to go to iTunes and in the search box, type 10x your business. Click on Itai's picture and go ahead and subscribe to the podcast. And if you're feeling generous and you want to help other business owners and entrepreneurs like you to find this podcast, then give us your rating and review. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you on the next one.